Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Corsair Vengeance 16GB DDR3 4x4GB memory module kit. And as you can see on the front cover, there are an um, example here, shows the four memory modules in, in place in a LGA 1155 uh, system, but it is also compatible with, of course, the latest LGA 2011 in quad channel configuration, and it's also compatible with AMD Phenom 2 and all second generation Core i3 all the way through Core i7 processors. And uh, if you flip it open right now, you can see there's a preview window showing the specifications that is in the sticker. You can see the um, two modules in here and two modules in the back. Now let us uh, actually just open it up so we can take a closer look. Each module is actually separated in, a, uh, in their own packaging. And since it's a 16 gigabyte module, they're all 4 gigabyte modules each. And uh, let's open up one and uh, read what the specifications are. Here you have, uh, of course, the 16 gigabyte 4x4. Uh, gigabyte configuration and it is uh, it says here 1600 megahertz with 99924 timing and 1.5 volt now this is actually the SPD um, SPD information it uh, it will run at 131 1333 megahertz 99924 with 1.5 volt at the default speed when you when you don't uh, load the XMP profile and as you can see the uh, as the Corsair Vengeance heatsink um, you might have seen uh, the other Corsair Vengeance kits now available. It comes in different colors. This is the regular one, which is the, the first one that came out. It was the black version. They also have, now they have blue ones and they have red ones. And they also have these new green ones, which are actually, uh, some of them I've seen as the specs and they were low, lower voltage at 1.35 volts. And these are standard 1.5 volts. And they also have a low profile ones that doesn't have these uh, heat spreaders go all the way up. These are actually aluminum. They're, they look heavy, but they're actually very lightweight. These are aluminum heat spreaders and uh, they're all uh, painted black. And uh, right now, these are actually the most, uh, if you want to build an LGA 2011 system with uh, 32 gigabyte memory modules, because the 4x8 gigabyte memory kits for 32 gigabyte is actually uh, retail for $499 right now. Uh, I haven't seen it in storage yet, but it, I've seen it in pre-order available. But these uh, these Venian kits, which are 16 gigabyte, if we're going to put it, we're going to put the 32 gigabyte total. So we add four more uh, four more four by four kits, total six for a total of 32 gigabytes in our LGA 2011 system. In quad channel configuration, we can actually save a lot of money. It will, it will right now uh, in New Egg. I was surprised to see the price actually. When I checked, it was $89.99 for, for a 16 gigabyte kit like this. And so two of them will, will only run you about $180 uh, total compared to $499. And the, the was, it was originally $120, but last week it was $109, now it's $89.99. So right now is the perfect time to buy memory modules, a lot of memory memory kits like this, like these uh, Corsair Vengeance, and put it into your system if you're the kind of user that can use a lot of RAM. So that's what we should do. We'll put in uh, not just a 16 gigabyte module, but an additional four gigabyte, uh, better another four sets of these for 16 gigabyte for a total of 32 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance into our LGA 2011 system and see how well it performs in the new X79 platform.